Thank you. Just, you know, um, really important, you know, when we hear about peace talks every now and then, you know, everyone hopes and prays that these peace talks lead somewhere. Because I remember that Uhuru Kenyatta, the former um, Kenyan president, did, um, it was, was one of the leading members of the, you know, the peace uh, um, uh, um, talks that are going on, you know, because with regards to this crisis. Unfortunately, peace talks do not bring results in one week or two weeks. You know, but it doesn't. It's just, nah, it takes a while. And this one, it's just sad that it's been a repetitive situation over and over again. Anyway, we'll keep talking about that now, but let's take the conversation over to South Africa. The ANC's national conference is entering its final day with the new party leadership having been announced on Monday. President Cyril Ramaphosa was re-elected, while several new members joined the top seven parties' leadership. Notably, the top structure now has three women, including Gwen Ramogopa as a treasurer general. And of course, uh, President Ramaphosa is set to give a closing address at the conference today. All right, uh, that's the update on what's happening with the ANC National Conference. We, I, I mean, we talked about this and we had been asking what President Cyril Ramaphosa's chances were regarding being re-elected uh, as the president of the conference, you know, being re-elected and especially with the results of Panel 8-9 report, looking at what they had said concerning Palapala Pala Gates. So, um, um, initially, I'm sure that when the results first broke, when the report first broke, everyone or lots of people assumed that this would automatically affect his chances at the NC yeah. and he would have to resign. But in a twist of fate, in one week, so much happens and so much has happened. Now, this is not the first time, like we talk about, that we've seen the ANC throw their weight behind a leader who has been accused of crime, yeah. or, uh, uh, accused of crime or has some allegation against it. Well, politics will always uh, be politics, you know, one way or the other. And politicians will keep politicking. Absolutely. <laughs>